Okay, so this is just easier than explaining it over and over again. Um, so yeah, as per my uh, post there, Morgan's been arrested on um, an outstanding warrant for theft, allegedly, which is completely made up. I was with her the entire time. None of this is real. Uh, the police are alleging that she stole gas. I think is the, is the case, uh, and her little Kia that she drives around maybe holds fifty five dollars to a tank. Uh, so you know we're talking about thirty forty dollars in gas potentially if she forgot to pay it, which I have a hard time seeing. Anyway, that's the country that we live in, and it's because everyone knows of who she is and, and you know what she does. That uh, this has happened, it's ridiculous, you know, to put a non-endorsable warrant out for something like this, and now she's going to be held until probably early next week, mid next week, whenever, whenever they get the the judge around to it. Because I mean, you know, fifty bucks is fifty bucks, guys. This is uh, it's pretty pretty serious, pretty serious stuff here. And uh, we were cooperating, um, you know, the whole time. She was asking questions and saying like, well, you know, I'm I'm willing to. You know, answer to this, but you're not you're not making any sense. You're saying I wasn't even in these places, and first it was this gas station, then it was a different gas station, and then maybe it wasn't a gas station. They don't really know, uh, but they just know that they have to arrest her. So, so we uh, we called these places and and asked them if they know anything about this, and there was no records, none of the shift managers, no one recalls anything. There was no notes, no nothing. Um, so we came back to the police with that, saying we're having trouble finding out what the hell you're even talking about, and they just neglected to. That was the end of the conversation. This was back in the spring, spring early summer. Um, so we were in a car accident today. We were hit by someone, uh, you know, in a parking lot. So uh, they didn't want to give us their information. They were being combative and just, you know, being dicks um, because. You know, they were guilty. Uh, so the police were called and they showed up and that's what they did. They handcuffed her and they put her in the back of her car and took her away. And she's going to be probably over there in, in uh, prison now for another week or longer. Who, who knows? Who knows? Because this is uh, this is Canada, you know, and uh, I don't know if there's anybody's worried about her. You know, we all are. But, you know, she's she's incredibly tough. She's incredibly uh, resourceful. And I have a lot of respect and, and uh, admiration for her, so, you know, she'll be okay. We'll get her out of here eventually soon, but, um, you know, on on her behalf and myself and, you know, speaking for a lot of other people, the, st the lesson in the story here is um, the police can just do this to you. They can just do whatever they want, pretty much, and, uh, you know, they want to say they don't make stuff up. They make stuff up all the time. I've seen them do it. We have caught them doing it. I've got them on video, on tape, in lies, caught them in lies. I mean, we've got lots and uh, we're looking forward to a lot of these cases being resolved because it's going to be very embarrassing for a number of people. But uh, they can do that. You know, something as ridiculous as, I mean, gas theft or something, we're not even really sure. They're not even really telling. They'll just slap something on there so they can get it in the media cycle so they can stretch it out and say, oh, look, look at the criminals doing more, more criminal shit again. That's the whole point of this, and it's going to cost her money and time, and she's going to spend... Uh, you know, time in jail. So that that's the scary part. That's the weird part that you need to take away from this is that this is the country that you live in. If you speak out against the government, if you challenge them, if you make them, you know, look bad or embarrass them in any way, they'll send the police after you and they'll just start making shit up and they'll just arrest you, lock you up and throw you away for, you know, days, weeks, longer, you know, and then it's up to you to, to deal with it. You're going to have to retain lawyers. You're going to spend thousands of dollars on bail hearings and go through the stress of all this, have your, your freedom taken away, your property confiscated and so on because they feel like it. Because they feel like it. And you may not even get a trial for a year or two years, and you've got to deal with this the whole time in between. That's why they say the punishment is the process. The process is the punishment. So that's what's going on. Uh, Morgan's being punished. You know, I'm being punished. We're all, we're all as a community across the country, being frequently punished for um, our insolence, I suppose. So that's all I know about that. And uh, I'll let you know, you know, anybody relevant that needs to know or should know, I'll let you know what happens as, as things go on. But... That's where we're at. That's the state of things in Canada. This is a disgrace.